ओके हाउ काउंट इज लोडेड इन टाइमर काउंटर हाउ काउंट इज लोडेड इन टाइमर काउंटर प्लस द ओवर फ्लो कंडीशन प्लस द ओवर फ्लो कंडीशन इन टाइमर काउंटर so in this lecture we are looking at the two uh, terms that is how count is loaded in the timer counter and second one is nothing but uh, the overflow condition that arises in the timer counter mm -hmm. so uh, in timer counter we have to provide a count we have to provide a count we have to load a count inside the timer inside the timer that uh, that count loaded will get incremented by one the count loaded will get incremented by 1 on every clock pulse on every clock pulse okay uh, whenever we are giving the clock pulses to the timer counter the count loaded inside the timer counter will get incremented by 1 and uh, suppose uh, we know that we know that the 8051 microcontroller 8051 microcontroller is having two timers that is timer 0 and timer 1 timer 0 and timer 1 both the timer are of 16 bit both the timer are of 16 bit so the range is 2 raised to the power 16 2 raised to the power 16 in decimal it is nothing but 65535 as it is started from 00 as it is started from 00 okay as it is started from Zero zero. So the range, decimal range, we can say that zero to six five five thirty five. Actually, two raised to the power sixteen is nothing but six five five three six. But as we are counting from zero, so this thirty six is not there. We the last number is thirty five. Last number is thirty five. So the range is range is from zero to six five five three. Five. This is the decimal. This is the decimal representation. And in hexadecimal format, uh, the range of the timer counter is from zero 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 F to F F F F H. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, Eight zero five one microcontroller is having two timer uh, that is timer zero and timer one. Both the timer are of sixteen bit. So the uh, range of counting is two uh, raised to the power sixteen. That is from zero to six five five thirty five. In hexadecimal format, from zero 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 H uh, to F F F F H. Okay. So uh, now, now I want to produce a delay. I want to produce a time delay. Of three microsecond, I want to produce a time delay of three microsecond. Then, which count I have to load in the timer counter? Okay, so that will uh, there is a formula for this. There is a formula for this. That is count to be loaded. Count to be loaded is equal to max count. Okay, plus desired. Count minus one. Okay, max count minus desired count plus one. Max count minus desired count plus one. Okay, so maximum count is nothing but six five five thirty five. Now desired count is three. Okay, and we have to add one in that. We have to add one in that. So thirty five minus three uh, is nothing but uh, nothing but thirty two. That is six five five thirty two plus one. So it is nothing but six five five thirty three. So what count I have to load uh, to get the three microsecond delay? Six five five thirty three. Six five five thirty three. And in hexadecimal format, it is it is nothing but f f f d f f f d. So I have to load this. Number that is F F F D. Okay, to get a delay of three microsecond. Okay, suppose now F F F D is loaded in the timer counter, and on first clock pulse, it becomes F F F D. That D becomes 
E. Okay, on second clock pulse, it becomes E two F E two F. Okay, and on third clock pulse, on third clock pulse, it becomes it becomes what? It becomes zero 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 zero. Okay, so here I achieved a delay of three. Micro second. Here I achieved a delay of three micro second. As each clock pulse represent a delay of one micro second, one micro second. And this condition, and this particular condition of rolling back from maximum count to the minimum count, maximum count to the minimum count is called as overflow condition. Is called as overflow. Condition is called as overflow condition. So now we are knowing that how count to be loaded in timer counter. Uh, we have to count count to be loaded is equal to max count minus desired count plus one. And why this plus one factor is there? Because we have to uh, we have to roll back from max count to the minimum count to achieve the overflow condition. To achieve the overflow condition. Suppose let us take one more example. 